difficult to really find ways to make our food go beyond bland and boring and instead become the kind of flavor bombs that we look for in the restaurants, but yet still trying to make each and every dish better for you. So a couple of years ago, my daughter and I, and my daughter's sitting right here actually with a very big smile waving, um, co-founded um, PS Flavor. PS Flavor is Pam Smith, but it's also PS, don't forget the flavor. It's a whole blending of the very spice blends that I've created for these restaurants, uh, a whole offering of the rubs that I've created for the restaurants, but available for you and I, available for what we can do at home to really be the solution we need for making food delicious, for almost becoming a top chef in your own home, but also not just a remedy for our dishes, but a remedy for our body because the very spices that we use, as we'll look at in just a moment, are not just delicious, they're oh so nutritious. I'm sure you've read about some of the new research about spices, that it's not just that they do great things for flavor, it's what they're doing for our whole body, that in some ways, spices are medicine for the body. As a matter of fact, across the world, in Indian cuisine, in Asian cuisine, Middle Eastern cuisine, Latino cuisine, spices are used as medicine. They're used for flavor, but they're used to be the medicine that gets us well and keeps us well, enables us to live well, and in many cases, even age well. Have any of you read about cinnamon and what's going on in that whole cinnamon world? I mean, cinnamon, you know, we grew up maybe having cinnamon toast or cinnamon toast crunch, but the truth is cinnamon is almost insulin for the body. The newest research, which is looking at Alzheimer's as type three diabetes, Cinnamon works like insulin for the brain, enabling energy to get across those blood barrier of the brain cells and enables the damage that's happening in Alzheimer's to be stopped at its tracks. Helps the body's blood sugar, helps the brain's blood sugar. There are other um, nutraceuticals, not pharmaceuticals like you would have in, in a classic drug, but nutraceuticals, what's found in spices that do everything from reducing inflammation in the body, fighting pain in the body, boosting your metabolism, boosting your immunity system. Around the world, rather than popping Advil for pain relief, in other places in the world, they pop cayenne pepper. No, they don't pop it. They put it onto their food, and it's that pop that also enables them to have a decrease in the inflammation, very similar to ibuprofen or aspirin. Other places around the world, rather than reaching for Tums, instead they reach for ginger, because ginger serves to kind of quell that queasiness the same way that other kinds of meds do. Exciting things when you learn that the very spices that make our food delicious are also medicine. They're also nutritious.